Hello. Okay, so I got sent a gift from Rochambeau gunpowder gin and this was inside. Okay, so we have got gunpowder gin, the beauty that is from Rochambeau and this is the Sardinian citrus. Never had that before. Got a big old bottle of lemon juice which is just in time for Pancake Tuesday as well. I respect that. And two little ginger beers. Um, and a recipe to make their signature Sardinian lemonade. Okay, and it is a quite simple recipe because I don't have a cocktail kit. All right, I don't because I'm not, I'm not cultured enough. I'm more agricultured. So I am gonna just give this a go and make it because uh, this is a fantastic gift to receive. Also, before I move on though, I would like to say thank you also for the bubble wrap because this will keep me very occupied for about two days during lockdown. And so much appreciate for that. Also, on the side of the delivery, uh, the box, it says fragile, which I can really relate to. And I really feel that Gunpowder Gin understands me. So I might just stick this to me, if it'll come off. <laughs> now, I don't have a cocktail making kit, but what I do have is a cock bottle opener. Ooh. And you better believe that's gonna be used for making this cocktail. <laughs> so first thing on uh, the instructions, it says to fill a tall glass with ice. So I have a big bag of ice with the lads. Just gonna go ahead and uh, do that now. There we go, okay, that'll do for now. Um, so it says now you'll need 50 milliliters of the gunpowder Irish gin with Sardinian citrus. And if you don't have a cocktail measure to use a standard egg cup. Now, the egg cup I have is a Marmite one. Some people love it, some people hate it. I just use it to measure alcohol, so it's a winner for me. I think that's a gorgeous bottle. What's inside is surely more gorgeous now. It's all about this sound, isn't it? It's all about this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, that's, that's beautiful there now. Never knew you could use an egg cup. You learn something every day, okay. So we got that. Then add 25 milliliters of the lemon mix, so, okay, is that in? Oh, already smelling divine. God, it smells like summer. Okay, and then top off your glass with Thomas Henry ginger beer. I'm gonna put the cock in cocktail now and uh, get this open. Beautiful. Now it says to top it up with this. I'm just gonna, all right. Okay, now it says to garnish with a wedge of red grapefruit. Um, I don't have that, so um, well, let's see what I do have to garnish. <laughs> what I have to garnish are two very fancy red straws. Oh yeah, give that a stir, baby. <laughs> okay. That's fucking stunning. That is absolutely beautiful. I. I'm gonna just mix it up and put this in a different glass and hope that it makes it look a bit fancier, hang on. Oh yeah, baby, look what I found, now we're talking. This, now we're getting fancy, hang on. Serve it in a jam jar. There we go, now that. I'm happy with that, I'll take that. That's my little serving suggestion. It's such a, ref like that's refreshing. That's the best lemonade I've ever had. This is where I think they'd be going wrong with lemonade stands. I think you need to be putting gin in your lemonade and you will see your profits skyrocket. That is my top tip. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to drinking this and sharing it with friends and family, but then I am also excited because I've never had a fancy bottle like this before. I don't get out a lot, okay? But I am looking forward to making it into a candy holder. Cause I see that, you see that in fancy pubs all the time. Remember pubs, barely, but you used to see that in fancy pubs and now I can feel a little fancy at home. This has been absolutely delicious and so much fun to make and I really recommend giving it a go. Thank you so much.